Hello, turtles. Welcome back to the Bionic Turtle channel. I'm Clay Carter, senior content developer for the FRM program. And this is... Hey, I'm Rich Owens, uh, one of the instructors at uh, Meldrum.com uh, with Serify Teaching the CFA program. Today, we wanted to take just a little bit of time and discuss some of the differences between the CFA and FRM programs and where they overlap. And so for me, one of the biggest differences between the CFA and the FRM is in the quantitative um, analysis. While both programs have a strong quant background to them, I'd say the FRM goes deeper, whereas the CFA goes broader. Yeah, I, I think that's definitely right, Clay. We, the, the kind of the standard chat always has been with the CFA, particularly when you get into level one, is that we are uh, an inch deep and a mile wide. So it, it really sets you up for a career in finance because you're, you're touching on everything. Uh, and it's a great broad base, a great platform. So it sets you up well for the FRM and it kind of gives you the background in quant. But as you say, a lot of people, once they've done the CFA, then choose to go and do the FRM second. And I don't know how you feel, Clay. I think that's probably the most common route. I'm not sure which which way around you did it. Um, well, I did them concurrently. So Ooh. I started the CFA program right out of grad school because I okay. knew I wanted to be in finance. Yeah. Um, that I started the FRM program whenever my firm, I was working in pension consulting at the time, whenever we started doing some hedging and I needed to get a deeper understanding of derivatives to really help our clients. That'll do it. That's, and, that's fair enough. So kind of that's, so which one did you actually get your charter first for? Well, it's, it's odd. I passed both the exams, but because the FRM at that time only took two years of professional experience i got my frm before i got my cfa yeah nice so i mean that's that's uh that's a bold way of doing it. i think most people kind of i guess these days because you can take the level one cfa whilst you're in college and i think level two as well while you're coming out so i guess it might be more common for people to start doing that kind of approach but i've always thought traditionally it's it's good to get the background in quant and the broad base in cfa and then you can bring that to frm and frm as you say, very much goes deeper into the world of quant, and there's a lot more detail in there. But it, it absolutely makes sense to have, you know, to combine our forces and have these two products on this same channel, because I, I would say like 60, 70, maybe 80% of things you'll see in the world of CFA are going to be relevant for FRM as well, uh, even if it's just a base knowledge that you take to quant. Now, there's going to be other things like, you know, a lot more, uh, for example, look at accounting in CFA, whereas... FRM will do a lot more regs, I think. We we pretty much have some ethics, and that's about it on the regulatory side. Yeah, and I would say when we're in the FRM, yeah, we're going a lot deeper when we're building our risk models, our VAR models, effective shortfall, anything. But again, we're building on that fundamental knowledge yeah. that you pick up with the CFA as well. Yeah, absolutely. And I think, you know, you, you obviously see, in the, and the CFA Institute are big on this, uh, looking at the charts of where CFA charter holders are in the investment industry. And, and you get CFA charter holders in roles absolutely everywhere. But if you're looking for specifically risk management, obviously, hence the name, but if you're looking at risk management and a career in risk management, then building FRM on top of your CFA really kind of sets you up for that, that practical role. Which I think is why a lot of people kind of start more with their CFA. And then once they have that broad experience and they're going into more of a niche field. They, they use the FRM to, to grow their knowledge base. Yeah, and for sure. Perfect. That's, that's the fundamental difference between the two. Um, if you guys have any other questions, please feel free to reach out to us.